Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today, we're going to be playing Italy on Elite Iron Man mode with Historical AI, so let's get into it. Today, we're going to be doing a France first build, and I think that this is the build in the current meta for 2020 post La Resistance, so let's dive right into it here. Uh, of course, as Italy, the first thing we're going to be doing is uh, the war with Ethiopia. As, in, as I set up these armies, please do exactly as I do. You may get different results if you don't. And that means down to how I draw my battle plan. And I'm making very simple battle plans, but they are quite effective. Just do that right there. Your air wings are going to look like this. And you're going to commit all your air down here in Ethiopia. And that should be about all of it. The rest... Uh, they all have no experience in the air wings, so we're just going to set those aside for now. And then they'll respawn down here in Ethiopia. So that should filter in all of our air force. If it doesn't, I'll fix it later. The other thing to note is that Graziani needs to be put on aggressive battle plans. And then the first thing that you do is you give him organization first, but we can only do that when we have command power of 15. That's going to be incredibly important for a short war with Ethiopia. So we're not going to be grinding. You might be asking yourself, well, what if we don't commit all of our air power down in Ethiopia? Won't that save oil? Yes, it will. But on the other hand, actually every uh, airplane that you have down there actually gives you a buff to air superiority and we'll be going over that a little bit later but I will show you how that's demonstrated feel free to cringe right now we're gonna go mobile warfare my favorite and I do think that that's the only way to play this build So we're going to be building uh, infrastructure up in Piedmont first because we're going to need good supply through France to the south here. And then we're going to be constructing military factories. Our starting production is going to look like this. You're going to need two anti-air. That's going to be to uh, pierce the French tanks. And then we're going to create an emphasis on guns after this. Everything else should be fine. We'll be doing a fighter upgrade later. So we probably won't have any military factories in here building this at all. And then you do army primacy first. And I'll tell you why that is later. We're going to do absolutely nothing with our navy other than assign these ships to filter into the two kind of grand battle fleet navies that we have. Just so that they go exactly where they need to go and that we're not wasting oil. And when we're playing 
as Italy, we want to pay special attention to oil at all times. It's a huge determining factor in the current uh, Hoi4 meta, and it does run out very quickly. Okay, shift left click. We'll put everyone inside an army over there, and we'll set up those armies a little later. Okay. Not going to produce divisions yet. Those planes will filter into the air wings that I made. We don't have a template for the AA yet, and the resources, don't touch them. You're going to need all your civilian factories to construct uh, these two uh, infrastructure areas to improve the steel. Okay, here we go. Now, if you look at the bubble here, you'll notice that enemy air superiority is a debuff to the Ethiopian general. And notice that it's 1.8 now. And then as my airplanes filter in, it goes up, up, up. So that's why you want to commit your air force right off the bat. Let's go ahead and get some oil from... Looks like it's going to have to be the U.S. Probably only need two. We'll see what happens here. Two looks good. And there should just be seaplanes. Oh, looks like I can commit more forces, so we're going to do that. Because that will increase our air superiority rating. And give us even a more buff. Now... The next thing we need to watch is command power, because at 15, Graziani is going to get upgraded. So I'm watching that oil and that command power. Okay, right there. This doesn't seem like it's important, but it is very important. So you go organization first, and then your army is going to function exceptionally well. Let's see what our air superiority is right now. 3.2. We have plenty of fuel to supply our airplanes. And uh, with Graziani's new trait, as you can see, we just broke them fairly easily. So we're going to strike out in three directions at once. And of course, divisions that attack from two different directions get a bonus. From two different provinces, rather. We got some fuel and some basic infantry, and we're just going to puppet Ethiopia. Okay, so that's going to do several things for us right now. What we need to remember to do at this point is turn the oil off. And this build is, you need to be exceptional if you're going to pull this off. So every little thing does matter and does help. And on my past it, uh, Italy builds, I've gotten a lot of comments like, oh, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? And it's because you have to play really tight with this build. Really tight. Okay, let's get those uh, seaplanes up in Sardinia. Okay. Yeah. 
we're going to release Eritrea and Somali Sultanate as puppets. And now we don't have to worry about supplying occupation forces to those areas or taking damage from resistance. So pretty much just puppets down here. Now, Ethiopia actually has factories and is going to supply us with divisions. So we're not going to do this for Ethiopia. But in terms of Eritrea, we're going to copy one of their cavalry divisions. And Ajuran Empire, we're going to copy theirs as well. So these forces are going to become incredibly important. I can figure out how to press the right buttons there. So we should be able to do, I think it's two. Okay, they just ran out of manpower there. And then this is five. Yep, they ran out of manpower there. Okay, so we're going to build into that. This division here lacks experience. I'm going to get rid of it. You could actually get rid of that division at the beginning of the game, and that would uh, help supply your Ethiopian conquest. So that was a tiny mistake that I just made. We have another 15 command power. I'm just double checking that no one has an upgrade on my generals there. So these three divisions are going to go into their own army. And we're going to have Balbo be their general. And they're just going to be on a fallback line right here. Next, we're going to take all the mountain divisions. Did I do that correctly? Put all the mountain divisions in their own army. Okay, so it evenly distributed it because I clicked on the field marshal. So that's interesting. That's good to know. They're going to have Praska. Praska is going to be right here in this province. His orders are going to go right there. The tanks are going to go with Messe, and they're going to be on fallback line orders over here. And then the two cavalry are going to be with Messe on those fallback orders as well. Everyone else is going to be defending the bottom two provinces here. And they're going to be going to this tile right there, eventually. Cavalero gets the middle two provinces, and his task will be to go to Paris. give him the remaining eight divisions. And that's your army set up right there. We're not moving around any of uh, the Navy stuff because, frankly, we don't have the oil to do that. So we don't really have to worry about political power with this build, so that's kind of nice. It's a, a lot safer of a build, I would say. Let's get into the Division Designer here and design two new templates. The first of which is going to be... We're going to duplicate our main Battle Division, and it's going to be an AA Division. And this division is going to pierce the enemy armor. And the French armor is uh, fairly thick at this point, but... Uh, level 1 AAs should be able to pierce it, no problem. 
And we're going to produce eight of these divisions and spawn them in Piedmont. Perfect. And then we're going to take our Colonial Division and we're just going to add support artillery to it. And let's see what our artillery needs are. 47. We should be able to crank those out, no problem. Okay, so now what just happened was Triumph in Africa was bypassed and Ethiopian War Logistics uh, was bypassed. So we got a buff to our stability and we did not have to build infrastructure in Ethiopia which uh, saved us 70 days there and 70 days there. So 140 total. Uh, when Army Primacy ticks off, then we'll go down and get war goals against Yugoslavia, basically because we have to. Important point here to make, get your war goal to invade France from your focus tree. I answer probably about one question a week that has to do with that. Balbo always falls ill. It's kind of annoying. So what we're going to do here with the focus tree now, claims against Yugoslavia, you have to do occupy Albania or you cannot go Italy first. So we're going to go claims against Yugoslavia, Albanian occupation. Befri befriend Bulgaria, Italy first, then go after France. And that's going to give us that annex war goal. And that is going to... It gives us a conqueror focus, focus war goal, which does not spike world tension as much. So very important. This fleet right here is going to be very important. As soon as we attack, we're going to park it right here, and it's going to give us um, some naval bombardment bonus. Uh, it doesn't look like my planes made it up. Probably because I didn't change it. They were flying over here first, probably. So as you guys probably already know, they need to be in the middle most airport of the air region. And that way they'll get uh, higher air superiority values. It actually might be better. Let's see if that circle... Hmm, that actually might be better for air superiority. We could play around with that once we start up the war. That'll be interesting to test. We're going to ignore the naval conference there. Let's see how these divisions are doing in training. This is all we're going to train. We're not going to train anymore. You can really get into trouble if you start training too much. Now the first thing that we're going to pick up is going to be free trade and that's why we're building all that infrastructure to get that iron. Take a look here. So free trade is going to give us a grand total of 14%, or I'm sorry, 9% extra research speed, and um, it looks like 10% extra factory output, so very important. We'll go ahead and occupy Albania. All right, and we're starting to get some Ethiopian divisions, so that's... Awesome, and we're going to put them, going to make a final army here, so do. We'll put them on a fallback line right there. So they're going to be protecting Sardinia, and the cavalry, we're going to make a trap here in North Africa. And the cavalry will be helping us out in North Africa. I 
I put an extra defense in Cagliaria, but it's probably not necessary. And then these guys are going to go with Balbo, and they're going to be stationed here in Tripoli. And they're going to be my encirclement divisions. The next ones that come out will help out in France. Concentrated industry first. Yeah, these two will all be helping out in France. So let's put that up in Piedmont. Excellent. And I just want to point out that, let's take a look at occupied territories here for a second. You can get foreign support. And you can request garrison support. Uh, not in those two countries, but in Ethiopia. But then you won't get the divisions. So I'm going to wait till they give me, Italian East Africa gives me one more division. And like I said, we go free trade first. And the second thing that we're going to be getting is Alfredo Guzzoni, which is going to give us infantry division attack 5% and defense 10%. And as I'd said in previous videos, this is going to be the Ar Italian version of Verdun, where we have them attack into us. And basically we're going to bleed them white, quote-unquote, as the Germans did in World War I or attempted to do in World War I to the French. Albania will always yield. Uh, you do need to put them on military governor and keep them on military governor. Very important. These divisions will join Messi. And you want to make sure that you're one province behind the front line so that they don't see them. I mean, they might be able to see them, but I doubt it. So they're just waiting on equipment. We got construction one. We're going to go for improved machine tools. Oh, big mistake I just made here. We don't have enough iron. Let's go ahead and get iron from the Soviets. And it should be three. There we go. And that'll take care of most of our needs. And we're going to catch up on our iron production here. So now we should probably be able to go down to two. Just as long as it does not affect our support equipment production that much. Negative two is not enough to worry about. So we're okay there. And this is the last division that we're going to need from Ethiopia. And there's your defense in Sardinia. If you do need manpower after the war, you can get it from Ethiopia to uh, help with the garrisons. So I would suggest doing that after the war. Then you'll get about 200,000 foreign support here. This should start stabilizing soon as compliance grows. Because we went Army Primacy, we're able to get the extra research buffs. 
to mobile warfare. So again, it's very important that you follow everything that I'm doing here. This is a very tough build, and you do need to be precise about it. Okay, so Messi's got two anti-tank divisions. And we're going to go Italy first, which is going to give us the political power that we need to get that specialist. So we've got two divisions here that use support artillery the Mountain Division and the Colonial Division. And it looks like we have enough artillery for the war. We're just mainly lacking in infantry equipment. Okay, that final cavalry came out. So what you'll see here is you may need to get the last AA division out uh, with half training or a quarter training or something like that, but it shouldn't be a problem. And we're catching up really quickly on this uh, weapons production, so that's awesome. Almost set for our AA divisions here as well. And we're going to have a healthy amount of tanks and trucks to support the standard motorized division for Italy. That's the tank division. Okay, no one has any upgrades to go for. So we got Italy first. You're going to join the anti commentarian pact. And then Germany will leave you alone. And it really doesn't matter if Russia is upset at you. Because you've got all these states that are in between you and it. So we're going to modify the government. And we're going to need Alfredo Guzzoni. And then when we have enough political power, we'll get Pietro Badoglio for the division recovery rate. And then we're going to go for army regrouping, Mario Roata, uh, 4%. So that'll give us an 8% recovery rate, and that'll be really good on the move. Okay, 70 days, and then we'll be at war with France. So they're stacking up divisions on the line over here. You will not need anti-tank divisions over here because this is a mountain. Um, so just be aware of that. These five mountain divisions will be able to hold their own over here in Piedmont. So don't worry about that. Immediately go for the next level of concentrated industry. It's very good. Especially if it's around 200 research days. That's great. So Messe is going to have four anti-tank divisions. And Cavallero is going to have four. And it looks like uh, I did better than I did last time. These guys should come out with mostly full training. They can come out late. I think it should be fine. I don't think that they're going to break through. So I want to go for interwar artillery. And I know a lot of you guys are constru uh, construction construction guys but think of it this way after we take out france we're going to have a lot of military or uh, civilian factories
and that's that will improve our construction greatly. Okay, so now you can ignore uh, the right side of the focus tree, and we can just go over here to the left, and you're just going to go down, it's right down here. It's going to be great. Let's get these divisions out. Air wings are up. We're going to move uh, this navy right here into this region. And then we're going to go ahead and declare war against France. These guys are on orders. Perfect. Ignore your navy. Take these guys off their orders. And it looks like we're actually going to move this way. We're going to move these three divisions into them so that they're frozen. Uh, this guy is going to be stuck down there, unfortunately. But that's okay. So you can just ignore him. We're not going to accept volunteers. We don't need them. So right off the bat here, you can see we're going to get some really good encirclements. Despite not having air superiority. Uh, the French can be fairly good when they start the game here. But as you can see, we have green bubbles everywhere. And we are getting shore bombardment bonus. They are getting shore bombardment bonus as well. Look at that uh, negative 14. Wow, that's crazy. Negative 8. Of course, we need to worry about oil. And we will get oil from the Soviets because it's a land route. Let's see if 3 works. Kind of want that, need that to be in uh, equilibrium. Perfect. And we got that buff to weapons, so now we're really going to be working on all cylinders. Let's get the plane upgrade. Having air superiority is so important in the current meta. Now down here, we're going to rinse and, rep and repeat. You can just simply put them on the fallback line orders. Uh, we're not going to go deep in here. You can really get in trouble, and there will be resistance in that area that you have to supply guns and manpower to. So we're going to ignore it. Let's take a look at our resistance real quick just to make sure that we're okay. Yep, we're okay. Don't change this. If you change this, uh, the resistance will spike again. Okay. Take a look at this. Let's play with this for a second. Our air superiority is 22%. Whoa, that's awesome. Uh, let's move this smaller fighter wing over here and see if we can get better air superiority. So that was 22.20, so it might have been a little better. But not much of a, dif a difference there. I don't think that you need to worry about it. Okay, I'm not sure if that worked out in our favor or not. Looks like it changes in between sorties. And as you can see, these Ethiopian divisions are great. Check out their template. They're just basic 18 width. Let's see if anyone has upgrades. Looks like the man does. Check North Africa. Um, more lambs to the slaughter. Okay. 
so they're coming in. Let's just uh, do a quick move here before anyone else arrives. Move these guys back to the line. Kill count so far. 6,000 losses to 109,000 on the French side. Let's get those three guys in there. So our army is going to be working really good here. We got that delay. And let's just roll these guys up. Chuck up three more division losses. Most likely 30,000 men. And we'll rinse and repeat again. So they should keep on sending units down there. Wow, did they lose all that? Wow, that's crazy. They lost 11 subs in that one battle. That is just a crushing victory there. We don't need anyone to help us. And here comes more of the divisions down. These seaplanes are working out great up here. Um, so we're almost about to attack here for sure. If they're still attacking us um, that much, we're just going to let them keep on doing it. Thought I saw another division. Okay, I guess not. We just need to eat these guys as fast as possible, pretty much. Just got a buff to our industry, and then we'll get a buff to our military factories. Okay, so three fresh divisions here for us to eat. Okay, still three bubbles up there. Perfect. Wow. Okay, let's go back to the line. So this is kind of where they start to tire out. And you can see they're not attacking. Oh, they are attacking just as much. That's fine. Let's have them continue to do that. But we're at about the tipping point where you need to attack. And if you do not, then you've lost your opportunity. So they get to a point where the divisions in the front have not been delivered equipment yet and thus are low on equipment so you see the brown bars there and these tanks divisions are not doing well in these mountains and suffering a lot of attrition so that's why this works is because they're suffering a lot of attrition basically so what we might want to do here okay we're lined up again forward see if he can get there faster okay more Ethiopian divisions but we don't need them
Gosh, and they're still attacking into us. At, at some point, they're going to say, okay, this is enough is enough. We're not going to attack anymore. So let's eat again. Oh, they got another guy out there. Okay. Well, let's... I guess we're heading in that direction first. We'll just split them in half. This is a little deep. June, July, August, September, October. So in October, that's when they're going to come back. That's when the English typically get involved in the war. So that's our timeline. Uh, so I screwed that one up. And they are starting to get tired over here. Uh, as they're attacking with just one... In one area like this, this is really close to when we need to, to attack into them. So if this guy gets out of here, that would be perfect. Take them off orders, move them up to the front line. Who knows where he went? Doesn't matter. Let's do one last encirclement and then we'll attack in France. I may be getting a little greedy here, but it is what it is. some help. Okay, we're about to get that extra research slot. They're not attacking anymore. Okay, perfect. We're going to slow down the speed here. We need to make sure that we do this right. Air Force needs to move up. Let's do Charismatic and increase the recovery rate of our divisions at 10%. Improv Expert. Let's see what Cavalero got. Infantry Expert. Perfect. And let's give Messe Gorilla Fighter. So we're going to turn on their orders. And then these guys are going to be free. And basically they're going to go right there. And this is getting a little challenging to make encirclements here. because they're getting beaten back like so quickly. There we go. Another two divisions eaten and this looks great. Oil looks good. We have air superiority. So we really need to focus here. They can go back. Don't need to worry about that for a little bit. And 
this navy right here needs to follow your advance as you go along. Just trying to think. We can't use improv expert. They're not crossing rivers yet. And this is going to get really out of hand in a good way for us. Because we just got a buff to our support artillery. Now we can do construction too. I'm barely... I feel pretty happy about our armed forces at this point. We're, we should be functioning very well. This might be a total collapse here. We'll see. If I can eat a couple more divisions down here, that would really help out. Let's see if we can catch them by surprise. They're starting to wear out there. See what we can get. <laughs> Was it a trap? Oh no, we got hit with strikes. Okay, so always take um, the bottom one. So our stability went down, unfortunately. And that can be somewhat random. These guys seem to be moving so sluggishly down here. Perfect. Need another division. So the way you get around strikes, um, I believe, is you increase your stability, and you can do that um, in a variety of ways. To remember the way that I would do it is you can get war propaganda against French France which increases your war support which as long as the war supports over 50% you should be okay and then what you want to do is improve worker conditions and that will increase your stability unfortunately we're out of political power at this point though So you have to be very proactive about that mechanic. And it looks like we're ready for a breakthrough. Oh, wow. And if we're moving through over here, let's just move around. Tanks do better in the open terrain. So let's just move through the open terrain. Okay, those guys are going to come back. I'm going to leave them alone for a little while. here. Let's get the cavalry attacking in if they can. It doesn't look like they can. The tanks can move forward. Let's get one cavalry moving south. Okay, 
they're still doing okay over there, and I need to move them up. Okay, he moved around great, so he can move up to there. Okay, now we have a better airport. So let's move our planes up. We need someone to pin these guys. So this is a mountain that's not going to be good for our tanks, but let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can move faster than them. It's a really weak division. So the cavalry is going to go over there. All right, now, at this point, I think that this is a mountain. If we get to right here, we've surrounded the French army. Uh, we also have nothing in front of us in terms of heading over to Paris. So that's something to consider as well. I've not had this particular scenario play out. We have a five division surround down here, which is definitely helping us out quite a bit. Uh, but this was a good one. August, September, October. So we don't have a lot of time. Uh, you want to micro around the plains and going through these mountains here does not look appealing to me. Let's take all three of these guys and go straight north, straight to there. We'll figure out the rest later. So our line can get cut quite easily. This guy's gonna have to stop and move around. And this gentleman too. This gentleman too. I'm hitting shift and clicking, and that way I can give them, uh, I can micro their order set. This is gonna help once this is out of here. this river here perfect Let's see if we can get this around and then this guy can go straight to Paris and we'll finish this off here immediately they all suffer from attrition We're just going to start snapping up divisions as we go here. The emphasis um, should be to go to Paris. Let's see if anyone's able to upgrade. Let's go down to Vichy. And this should be enough to complete that encirclement right there. What we don't want is a lot of shuffling, so let's organize them a little better. They 
have very clear orders. Let's get all of his guys um, slamming in right here. Let them attack on their own. And what I'm going to do here is control B. And you see that they're going to strategically deploy. And I'm just doing this as a backup, basically. All that may not even be necessary. Because we're probably going to get the uh, the Paris victory here pretty quickly. That's a bad way of going. There we go. So they cut my lines again. Let's have him stop and then get into Paris. And there you go. Okay, now this phase is going to be very important. How do we do the peace treaty? The peace accord, whatever you want to call it. The Treaty of Calais. So we get this equipment, and as you can see, they barely had anything. The first thing that we're going to do is take all the home territories for ourselves. And there is a little bit of iron in North Africa. I'm not going to worry about it. So we'll end the turn, that turn there. And then basically what you're going to do is puppet the rest. So Italy sets up a collaborationist government in free France, turning it into a puppet state. And you basically get all those as puppets. And it's just one huge puppet state. So we don't have to deal with all the individual guys. So that's really good. And let's check out what we can do in terms of trade. So we're lacking all these resources here. Then we can now backfill with our trade with France. It doesn't look like tungsten. Thought they had tungsten right there. All right, and there you go. So Italy is much bigger now and um, all the colonies are the Free French uh, that we can trade with and we can request garrison support. So we'll do that. And then we'll request garrison support from Ethiopia now that the war is over. And as you can see from Free France, we get 200,000 and we get another 264,000 from Ethiopia. And that'll help our occupation in all these different territories. And I would say the nation of France needs to be martial law right off the bat. And there you have it. Uh, that is the new Italy build. And from there, you can branch out and you should be able to go through Eastern Europe, any of the fascist countries. Uh, you should be able to take without intervention from the Allies. You can also just go ahead and take out the United Kingdom right now if you want to. Uh, you have a big enough navy to do it, so it should be possible to move all your navy up here and just perform an Italian sea lion and uh, take them out of the war. Don't have to worry about them anymore. Then you should be able to go through the fascist countries and uh, Eastern Europe 
see what you're going to do about Germany, wait for Barbarossa maybe, and then attack Germany when they're here in the middle of Russia. Uh, that's always a good strategy. But I think that this is the build. It's way better to just go France first. Um, at this time, too, I have to mention create your intelligence agency at this point because you have so many more factories. Huh. It looks like we're not getting a lot of factories. Okay, so that's going to be an issue. I take that back. But everything else about the build should be fairly uh, solid. So I'll have to look into why we're only getting uh, three civilian factories, and this is probably going to have to change. Oh, it's because of the strikes. So if we weren't hit by strikes, um, if you change that one aspect of the build, you guys will be doing 10 out of 10. You should have plenty of civilian factories. All right, well, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Also join my Discord server. And I will see you on the next one.